Within Proceda, the configuration of single-touch payroll is managed by a health check screen, which displays the readiness of data that is required to be sent to the Australian Tax Office. The health check can be viewed at any time and displays the current status as a graphic message as well as a status bar showing the readiness of your database. Click the Update Status buttons when you have completed all of your corrections to update these displayed results. There are also different configurations which need to be STP ready and each of these also displays a completion percentage. Click this icon to view the contents. A tick icon means you are ready to go, and an exclamation icon indicates further action is required. Click the I icon for specific details. This is where you configure how you want Proceda to process your single-touch payroll information. Had less than 20 employees on the 1st of April, you should click I am exempt and save this record. There is nothing else required from you at this stage. If your organization has a deferral from the ATO, you should click I have a deferral and save this record. This screen is pre-populated with the deferral details, which are valid until the 30th of April, 2019, to give our customers extra time to be STP ready. After you have corrected all of your identified errors, you will be ready to commence sending STP files. Only then should you click I am ready. Proceda will pre-populate these gateway values for you to save. Select the Proceda gateway to enable the processing of STP files as part of your regular pay run. Then select Employee if you, the payroll administrator, will be submitting the STP. Otherwise, select Business Intermediary if you have to set up a business appointment via ATO Access Manager, adding the specific details, or select Registered Agent if you are using a registered tax or BAS agent, adding the specific details. The Proceda deployment team will then be notified and they will work with you about a go-live date and to activate your STP gateway. The information displayed here validates the STP readiness of the employer information data. Your database may have more than one employer information record if you are processing pays for multiple ABNs. A tick icon means you are ready to go, whilst the cross icon indicates that a record is not STP ready. A hint message also displays what information is missing. Click the I icon and you will be taken to the employer information records that require attention. Update the screen, and for more information, review the online knowledge base. You can also override the default STP configuration rules for the individual employer information records if required. The information displayed here validates the STP readiness of any allowance deduction codes that are identified as STP reportable based on the saved data combination of the code classification, year-end print flag, and STP allow deduct type. The STP allow deduct type field was added to this screen to facilitate STP reporting and must be populated. Depending on the saved classification for each AD code, you should select the STP type from the prompt list. Click Single Touch Health Check to return to the Health Check screen. The exclamation icon here indicates that misreporting may occur unless corrected. If any of these tasks are not completed and the codes are used in a pay run, they will be displayed as issues on the STP exceptions report that is produced when you run the update during the pay run. Click Single Touch Health Check to return to the health check screen.
The information displayed here validates the STP readiness of the personal details of employees. When you click the eye icon from within employee information and are taken to the screen, you will only see employee records assigned to you within your Proceda security profile. The information displayed here validates the STP readiness of the tax information of employees. When you click the eye icon from within tax information and are taken to the screen, you will only see the employee records assigned to you within the Proceda security profile. After the update pay run process has run, the STP file details will be displayed here for manual submission. Pay run doesn't have to be closed for the submission to happen. Select the correct record from the results list and click Send to ATO. This will pop up the declaration statement. Once ticked, the file will then be sent to the Proceda gateway. If your configuration rules are not set to use the Proceda gateway, you will only be able to click STP file to download the file to send to your third-party gateway. If the ATO discovers any issues with your STP data, the ATO response file button will display, and when clicked, will display any issues that should be amended before your next pay run. There is no need to resubmit the STP file as any amendments to your data will be picked up and processed within your next STP file submission. Eventually, you may want to speed up the process of having to manually submit STP files via the single-touch payroll submission screen. Within your one-step template, you can activate an STP submission. Think of this as a similar function to the email payslips or EFT processing. Submitted data to the ATO will display in your employee's MyGov account. When processing a pay run using a template with this option selected, the checkbox next to the declaration becomes active. Once ticked and run process is selected, the STP files are generated, declared, and submitted to the ATO in a single step. The files can then be viewed in a single-touch payroll submission screen. You should review the STP data report that was generated during the update pay run in your console. The PRP420PRT report should be downloaded and saved. You can review the STP exceptions messages that have been generated as part of this process on a report that is available within console. The PRP420EXC report can be downloaded and saved. These exceptions can be accessed from the refreshed STP health check screen and should be corrected before your next pay run.